Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you uh, if we can use a color function in Excel and we're going to try to sum uh, cells based on their background color uh, using formulas in Excel. I'm going to show you how we can do this and I'm going to give you the final file which allows to do it. Uh, the link will be available right below the video so you can download it and reuse the formulas um, and follow how it's built with me. So uh, the thing is, by default, there is no function that gives you the color of uh, a cell in Excel. So you cannot make operation based on that. But this is something that we can define ourselves. So we're going to build it and then we're going to use it. So to build this function, we're going to call it color. Um, we're going to do it in VBA. We're going to make a custom function. So for that, we're going to go in the developer menu, uh, VBA, uh, we're going to make a new module to write some code. And we're going to make a function, which we're going to call color. Uh, oopsie. Uh, we're going to take the color of a cell, which is going to be a range. Uh, so this means that we define a function that takes a cell as an argument, a range as an argument. And um, how do we compute the color? We say color, that's what we have to return. It's the name of the function. So it's the final, the final value that we will return. Um, so we're going to take the cell. We're going to... And the, the background color is into interior dot color index that will give us the color as a number. So uh, I don't know the number by heart, but for example, by, for blue, it's going to be 10, yellow, it's going to be 15, something like that. And this way we will be able to ident identify the color. So now that my function is written, I can use it uh, in Excel. In that file, I can use color of a cell. So I'm going to compute the color of uh, of each cell and you see it's 24 for blue like this 36 for this yellow 40 15 depends on uh, on each uh, well basically on each cell if i change it uh, if i change it what happens if i put yellow um, so let me check something real quick so first something that i have to add i want it to be recalculated each time I make a calculation in the sheet. So for that, I have to add another parameter. I have to, where is my VBA editor? I have to add application dot for volatile. Uh, this, uh, this line means I want it to be, to, I want the function to be recalculated each time I recalculate the sheet. Uh, so for example, if I calculate here, it's gonna put 44. Um, that's okay. So be careful. Uh, this function will calculate only will recalculate only when you have a, a change in the numbers displayed in your sheet, not in the format. Which means if you only change the color of a cell, it's not going to recalculate the sheet, so it's not going to update uh, the color. So you know here I just changed to gray, but I have to recalculate uh, something in the sheet to uh, update the. Uh, to update the color. Uh, so now, now that I have all the colors available, I can I can make fancy uh, computations. So, for example, if I want to sum the uh, if I want to sum the green sum of uh, green, or basically I'm going to sum by color. So if I want to sum every uh, orange cell, what I have to do, I have to use to to use sum if because it's a conditional sum. And I'm going to sum it based on the color. So I'm going to use an absolute reference. Uh, this way the reference will move. The criteria, I want the color to be... So for our orange, I'm going to put the color here on this row. So it's going to be 44. And if I find the correct color, I'm going to take the number in the cell, which is here. Okay. And that's going to work everywhere. 
Um, so to explain further here what happens, I check within all the list of colors and if I find 40 here on this uh, on each line, I will take the number that is on the left. So I'm going to take, I will find 40 on line uh, 5, on line 6. So I'm going to sum 4 and 5 and it's going to give me 9 for, um, for the orange colors, 13 for the green, uh, for the green cell. So that, that's how you can define and reuse after in your calculation, uh, the color function. You first, you define it in VBA uh, to access the, the color information, and then you're going to compute it for each cell. And then you're going to make some calculations based on this. I'm say I'm going to write it sum by color. Uh, so this is something you can reuse. You can also make calculations, for example, on the format. If you want to count the number of cells that are in bold, for example, or uh, probably if you, you you can base it on the font color, uh, this is something you can play around. So I leave you download the file, which is going to be right below the video. Uh, the link is uh, right under the video for you to download. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tip. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you will be notified as soon as I publish it. See you champions. Bye bye.